Magsiluhod ang lahat. Panalangin para sa pambansa at panglokal na halalan. Manalangin tayo upang sa papalapit na pambansa at panglokal na halalan ay tunay na maghari ang kalooban ng Diyos na siyang gumagabay sa lahat ng bansa. Sama-sama nating idalangin, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pamimilit, pananakot, karahasan at terorismo, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panloloko, pagsisinungaling at pagbaluktot sa katotohanan, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panunuhol, kasakiman at sabuatan upang makapandaya, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa kawalang muwang sa panlilinlang at makitid na pananaw, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pagbabanta, pananakot at lapastangang pananalita, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Sama-sama nating idalangin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang aming budhi ang siyang gawing tunay na pamantayan, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kabutihan ng nakararami ang aming pinakamataas na layunin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang dignidad ng tao ay palagi ang igalang, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kapuspalad at mahihina ay pagukulan ng higit na pansin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pangangalaga sa kalikasan ay hindi ipagwalang bahala, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pagkakaisa ay magbigay daan sa landas ng kapayapaan at kaunlaran, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang banal na pagkatakot sa Diyos at pag-ibig sa kapwa ang maging gabay ng mga nagnanais manungkulan sa pamahalaan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Manalangin tayo. Pastol ng aming kaluluwa at tagapagligtas ng sanlibutan, ang politika ay iyong kaloob sa amin. Isang paanyaya upang maglingkod sa iba at lumago sa kabanalan. Gabayan mo ang politika sa aming bansa katulad ng paggabay mo sa amin. Nawa ang aming politikal na pakikilahok para sa mga botante at kandidato ay magdulot ng kaluwalhatian sa iyong mahal na ngalan at matulungan din kaming yumabong sa kabutihan ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Eucharist today, let us be reminded always to choose the light of Jesus shining in the mission of the Church. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith, we may possess in unending love. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and, filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and set and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison, so they came back and reported, We found the jail securely locked, and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. Then the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report. They were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, The men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Please stand. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might have eternal life. Alleluia, 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in Him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Peace be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. We have commemorated the great story of our salvation during Holy Week when Jesus fulfilled our salvation in His suffering and death on the cross and ultimately in His resurrection. But this Easter season reminds us that the story of salvation continues. Pinapaalala po sa atin na ang inaalala natin na kaligtasan na ginawa ni Jesus sa krus at ang kanyang muling pagkabuhay ay hindi lamang nangyari noon. Ang kanyang kaligtasan ay patuloy na nangyayari hanggang ngayon. That is why in our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, we see one of the stories of how the apostles were saved by Jesus when they were persecuted and imprisoned by the high priests. Kahit na tapos na ang ginawang kaligtasan ni Jesus sa krus at ang kanyang muling pagkabuhay, patuloy pa rin niyang iniligtas ang mga alagad. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a proof for us that the story of salvation continues. He has saved us, but He continues to save us until now. My dear brothers and sisters, this is my question for you this day. What are the stories of salvation in your life? What are the stories of resurrection in your life? Ano kaya ang mga kwento ng kaligtasan na dinanas ninyo? Ano kaya ang mga kwento ng kaligtasan na naranasan ninyo? Baka kayo ay pinagaling ni Jesus? Baka sinagot ni Jesus ang panalangin ninyo? Baka pinagkalooban kayo ng anak sa pamilya? Those are stories of salvation. And let us thank the Lord that He has saved us on the cross 
but in the resurrection, He continues to save us until now. And the story of salvation continues in the church. In our gospel reading today, we hear Jesus proclaiming that the Son of God comes to us as a light in the darkness. And this light of Jesus shines through the church. Tayo ay iniligtas ni Jesus at tayo rin ay mananatili sa kaligtasan kapag sumunod tayo sa liwanag niya na nagniningning sa simbahan. Salvation continues when we follow the light of Jesus shining in the church. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, is the 41st anniversary when the Manila Cathedral was declared by Pope John Paul II as a minor basilica, meaning that Pope John Paul II recognized the importance of this church, that this church might become a beacon of light. Kinikilala ang Manila Cathedral bilang tagapagdala ng liwanag sa gitna ng kadiliman ng sanlibutan. Mga minamahal na kapatid, salamat po sa simbahan. Salamat sa Manila Cathedral na naging instrumento para maipalaganap ang liwanag ni Jesus sa bayan. Sana po mga kapatid, makita natin ang kwento ng kaligtasan sa ating buhay kapag patuloy tayong lumalakad sa liwanag ni Kristo. My dear brothers and sisters, let us remember today the story of salvation continues in your life. He has saved you, but Jesus continues to save you. Amen. Please stand with confidence we bring our cares and concerns before God the Father who loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost but may have eternal life for every petition let us say in the name of Jesus bless us in the name of jesus bless us that the church may always be a living sign of god's love and mercy in times of darkness and despair let us pray to the lord in, in the, the name, name of jesus, jesus bless, bless us that we may live in such a manner that the love of god may shine forth in all our actions let us pray to the Lord. In, In the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. That the love of God may bring peace into our hearts and harmony in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. In, In the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. That through the care and attention shown by their family or friends, the sick and those who suffer, may realize that they are loved by God. Let us pray to the Lord. In, In the name, name of Jesus, Jesus, bless us. Let us pray that we may have a peaceful, honest, and credible elections, and that we may elect leaders who uphold the values we hold dear as Christians and Filipinos. Faith in God, truthfulness, integrity, decency, and concern for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. In the, In the name, name of Jesus, bless, bless us. That our beloved dead may all share 
in the glory of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. Heavenly Father, look with love on all your children and guide us safely in our pilgrim journey. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you O lord but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful for his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the life of all has risen therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to invite everyone tonight for the praying of the Healing Rosary for the World at 9 p.m. And we will be led this evening by the community of St. Michael the Archangel and Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary Parish in Bacoor, Cavite. And so we thank them for leading us into the praying of the Rosary. And we invite everyone online tonight at 9 p.m. to pray for the healing of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.